دوكسيادا نور الدين نور الدين اسكولس السلام عليكم this is Ikhwani uh, with a new lesson today I hope our students are in a very good mood and everyone is on a very good uh, uh, really uh, process of learning uh, their lessons Alhamdulillah I'm saying everyone good morning Salaam Alaikum today uh, pre on the on previous lesson we have had learning conjunctions why we have had learning conjunctions is because of on page 83 on page 83 I told you on page 83 I told you on page 83 I told you on page 83 there is a lesson known as writing logically so we have had conjunctions and today we will master inshallah what we call transitional words or linking words which are really very important when it comes to writing and when it comes to speaking because you see many times in our speaking or in our writing someone using the word for example for example for example 10 times right so this lesson will help you inshallah learn how to how to use transitional words very well because transitional words are bridges that really carry the reader from section to section. Okay, so what's the lesson is all about today? The lesson is about building sentences and paragraphs. Why? So before you build a sentence and paragraph, you need to know what, is, what are transitional words and phrases. Okay, so let's quickly get uh, the definition of transitional words because it's always important to know the definition so the definition of transitional words are transitional words are or phrases connect you see they connect two sentences two sentences right I hope everyone remember remembers the word uh, sentences sentences are how many sentences we have had uh, when, 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 when we are not talking about the structure of sentences, there were also kinds of sentences, right? The interrogative sentence, the exclamatory sentences, the uh, imperative sentences, and the declarative sentences. So it really connects two sentences, all right? Two sentences and two or, or paragraphs, all right? Linking words are bridges, as I told you earlier. They connect to what? Two sentences or paragraphs. They also show, let's take a look at this one. They also show relationship. Relationship of what? Relationship between them. Okay. For example, now I'm, 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 I'm speaking. I said, for example, because I'm taking one idea to another idea. If I don't use a bridge that really connects those, those two ideas, it won't work. For example, for instance, in other words, these are really very important when you are speaking and when you are writing English. They are often referred to connectors. They are known as connectors. These linking or transitional words are also known as what? As what? Connectors. Right. And here we got the table below gives us examples of transitional uh, and phrases that can be used to develop paragraph. Okay. When you want to contrast, you use these words. How contrasting? You say many times, uh, I see you writing something or maybe speaking English. You repeatedly use the word however, over, over and over again. You say, however, however, however. You better use the rest of all other words like this one. When you, however, when you are contrasting, you use however. But th this word is also good. It can change the word however. You can use the word on the, on the contrary. On the contrary can mean the same like however. But if you repeat the same word when you're writing, like however, 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 that will not make your writing interest. The reader will not interest. So when it comes to eyelets and tovel, teachers usually look 
How do you use the transitional words? And when it even comes to speaking, teachers always look, the examiners, the examiners, they look these transitional words. So, however, on the contrary, uh, the same, or you can use the word on the other hand, but if you always say on however, however, it doesn't work. So you can change these words from time to time. You say however, and then on the contrary, or you can use sometimes on the other hand, or you can say there are, there are some exceptions, but uh, nevertheless, unlike, unlike, these are really very important to use in different, situ in different situations or in different ideas. So these are known as what? To, con to show contrasting or to contrast. I'm please advising you, whenever it comes to speaking or really writing, when you are contrasting something, you don't have to always use one word, saying like over and over again, however, however, however. You better use these words and sometimes say however, or say on the contrary, or you can say on the other hand, or you can say there are some exceptions, but nevertheless and unlike, these are really very good because in exams, examiners, they always look at how you use the linking words. So they are very, very important to look at this. This is when you are contrasting. Let's take a look. When you are using how to add some information to your paragraph or to show addition. Many of you I have seen saying the word besides or maybe moreover. You better use this one in different ideas like besides. And sometimes you can say moreover or you can say again and furthermore also in addition. But what about if you always say in addition to that, in addition to that, in addition to that, in addition to that, your writing will be very boring. The most important thing about learning transitional words are uh, and when, when you are going to speak or when you are going to write. So don't, uh, these are when you are really adding some information to your paragraph. But don't always use this one. Moreover, moreover, moreover. I have seen some of you using this word moreover over and over again. Okay, don't use that word moreover over and over again. Uh, if you use in your writing or you're speaking moreover, you better change to the rest of these uh, in the, the second ideas, like besides. But you don't have to repeat the word over and over, uh, or moreover over and over again. Uh, change uh, uh, from idea to idea, like again and furthermore also and in addition to that. I hope you understood. Uh, let's uh, go uh, the second one. Uh, this one is used when you are, when you are uh, com comparing something. This is know how to show comparison. Okay, to show comparison. All right, to show comparison. Okay, fine. Wait a second. Okay. Look, this one is when you are comparing something. But I have seen many of you uh, during writing or speaking, I have seen many of you using this word in the same manner. Or some of you always use this, the word in the same way. But if you use the word in the same way in your earlier sentence or maybe your earlier ideas, you better change with this in the same way or similarly but you don't have to repeat the word similarly 10 times. I have seen some of you repeating the word similarly 10 times when you are comparing something. That is completely incorrect. Okay, so, uh, all right. So whenever you are using, for example, these transitional words, uh, let me give you quick examples about, for example, when you are contrasting. You say, uh, I like politics, however, I like politics, however, I hate the campaigns. So, see, you use the word however. But look at the second example. My father likes dancing. I'm sorry, my father don't like dancing. My father likes reading the Quran. Right, but I don't know whether, maybe in some cultures their fathers like dancing. So, my father like dancing, said unknown person. On the other hand, what about if I repeat the same word, however, in this example? 
and I'm speaking maybe to a people or maybe writing something. It won't be correct repeating the same word over and over again. So I said, my father likes dancing. On the other hand, my mother does not. Okay, see. So you better change transitional words. Instead of repeating one transitional or one linked word 10 times or more than 10 times. Okay, let's take these examples. Let's take these examples. Okay, we are now on the section of adding additions. Okay, we are now on the section of adding additions. So, you see these words, besides, moreover, again, and, furthermore, also, and in addition. So, so these examples will really help you understand how to use these transitional words. Let's take a look at this one. The cost of that book is too high. Furthermore, it lacks some essential chapters. But what about, the, look at the second example. She was offered good salary for the job. In addition, she was a free, she was given a free car. What about if I use the same uh, transitional word or the same linking word or connector in these two examples? It will be very boring. So I change it. Furthermore, and then the second example has what? In addition. Okay, let's uh, take this one. Okay, okay, let's take this one. Uh, this one is what? All right. This is when you are comparing two ideas or two paragraphs uh, or two sentences. You use this one to show, to show what? To show comparison. So when you are comparing, you use these words, like this one, in the same manner, or similarly, or both, or in the same way, or, uh, or likewise, unlikewise, or the word correspondingly. But what about if I'm speaking, uh, like we always do, or I'm writing something, and I use the word in the same manner, in the same manner, 10 times. It won't be interesting. Your speaking or your writing will be very boring. Let's take these examples. A gossip is seldom laughed by others. Similarly, a person who, a person who rarely speaks is not always well liked. So the word similarly. But the second example has a different linking word. Look at this. Noisemakers will be punished. Noisemakers will be punished. In the same way, what about if I repeat the, say, the word similarly in the second example and I'm writing something or maybe speaking. My speaking or maybe my writing will be very boring. So look, the two different linking words I have used in that different examples. Okay, see, I used one uh, example, one, sim uh, one uh, linking word here, the word similarly. But the second one, I use in the same manner. Let's highlight the two words I have used. Okay, this one I have used similarly, but this one we have used in the same way, different. But if I repeat the word similarly over 10 times, it won't be interesting. Okay, uh, noisemakers will be punished. In the same way, those who do not hand in their work will be sent home. Okay. Let's go to when you are making concession or compromise. These are the words we need to use. Even though, I have seen some of you using the word even though 10 times when you are writing or when you are speaking English. You need to change even though to this, despite this, in spite of, though, although, are also very good to use in writing and also in speaking. Look, uh, let's take these examples. Let's take these examples to understand more about what I mean, concession or compromise. Even though, even though he eats too much food, he eats too much food during meals. He's always attentive in class. Look, I use this one, even though, okay? Even though, see, even though, that word, even though, okay? 
But the second example has a different concession or has a different compromise or has a different linking word. Let's take a look at this one. She spends a lot of time uh, looking at herself in the mirror. Despite this, which is the same meaning like, or uh, in spite of this, despite this, uh, uh, despite this, she's still our best student. She's still our best student. Okay, and now let's go to this one. When you want to emphasize, if you want to emphasize, you use these ones, okay? To emphasize, you use these ones, okay? To emphasize, right. Uh, okay, this one. So, and I have seen uh, back in the old days, my friend and I were the same class, and whenever he comes uh, in front of the students and he wants to speak to the friends, or maybe he wants to make a lecture or write something, he used to repeat the word actually maybe 10 times in each minute. That was very bad. So, look, what about when I'm speaking, if I repeat the word actually 20 times? Actually, actually, actually. You need to change the word actually to these ones. If you use the word actually in the, for example, previous example, you need to change actually to the word in fact. It will add some, you know, interesting to your speaking or writing. But if you repeat the word actually 20 times, it will look very boring. Um, readers may not interest to read, your writing or may not even interest to listen to you that much. So change. When you are using the word emphasis, use this one differently in different situations. Indeed. You see this one. Indeed. Or you can use the word certainly. Or as a matter of fact. I remember also another friend of mine, we were on the same class. Whenever he is writing or speaking English, he used to say as a matter of fact. Maybe 30 times as a matter of fact every day. That was very boring, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact. One of my friends used to laugh when he started talking and speaking English. So if you use the same word at the same time when you're writing or speaking, people may not interest your writing or your speaking. So don't repeat over 20 times as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact. Change actually, in fact, indeed, certainly. As a matter of fact, this would be very interesting. Let's take quick examples about this. Two quick examples about emphasis. Okay, even though khadr, look, even though, look at this. Uh, look, even though khadr, even though khadr is a quiet person, everyone likes him. In fact, he is always uh, invited to parties. In fact, but what about if I use another example and repeat the same word, in fact? No, it won't be good. Mary is a lazy student. Indeed. Look, I changed. I didn't repeat the word, in fact, the second example. I said, indeed. Okay. So you need to change and don't only use one word during writing and speaking. Okay. Uh, let's take this one. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a very funny, uh, really, uh, a part. Uh, when you want to indicate uh, examples. How many times you hear the word, for example, for example, for example, for example? Okay, I will quickly read this due to the time pressure. Okay, uh, how many times you hear someone on a public speaking English and saying the word, for example, for example, many times? And how many times you meet when you're writing something and you use the word, for example, 10 times? Look, you better use these ones, that is, which is the same like, for example, for an instance, same like for example, in particular, more like for example, in other words, the same like for example. So why are you always repeating the word for example 80 times or more than 10 times? Why? That won't be interesting. Let's take two quick examples about when you are indicating an example. Uh, have any uh, concept of time, for example, uh, he kept the class waiting for almost two hours yesterday. Or you say, that fellow is a liar in particular. Okay, he likes lying about his parents' origin. Okay, see, okay, that really uh, comes to the end of the first section of Linky Words. We will move uh, the second section after, uh, inshallah, a minute later. I, this is Ikhwani. I hope every student is taking advantage of these online classes and I hope you guys are really engaging this uh, interactive board and in home and 
really taking advantage and I hope you inshallah a bright future. This is Khwali when it's again saying a beautiful smile. Assalamu alaikum.